Hi, I'm Kevin Burns, Mayor of Geneva, and welcome to this edition of Business Beat. I am at the iconic corner of Route 38 and 4th Street, otherwise known as Aurelio's Corner, and I'm joined by the owner proprietor, Mr. Kevin Serra, and the general manager, Mr. Tyler LaRocca. Gentlemen, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us. This we is appreciate awesome. It. It's our pleasure. I mean, Aurelio's began with a bang and has been a popular joint ever since. It's amazing. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Kevin. What a lot of people don't realize is that we've been in Geneva for about 12 years. We started back in 2003. In I February, remember. <laughs> a small little carry-out delivery yeah, across the right street. right across the street. And uh, we trans transitioned over to this location November. in November of 2011. That's something. And uh, for some folks, they think that this was the first location, but we actually oh, yeah. started you know, grinding it out a long time ago across the street. And uh, it's been an evolution and a lot of hard work that's gone into it to get us here today. It's amazing. So four years, almost a four year anniversary coming up. That's correct, this this uh, November, year. right? No, we'll be going into our fourth year. Into our fourth year, year, right, yeah. Right. So, and I know a lot of restaurant tours, you know, there's, there's things to work out, but it, it seems from my perspective, and I should say in the interest of full disclosure, my parents are here every other day, that things operate beautifully, smoothly. It's obviously because of the talent you have and the staff. Absolutely. What what comes with uh, a strong operation is a staff. Right. And we've got a very very and this strong guy strong operation. Runs a tight ship. Tyler is here um, almost um, more than uh, he is at home. Wow. And he writes runs a tight ship, but a fair ship. He's been ship. in this industry a long time. Yeah. You know, 25 years of general managing large operations. So we're we're very appreciative to have him here. Thank wow. You. wow. What makes Aurelio different? What makes us different is, one, we are family-owned businesses. Right. I, too, have a partner, the Silvestri family is, oh, uh, yeah. is also part of this business. That's Arnie and Silvestri. Big shout-out to Arnie. And he's a big guy, He's too. a big guy. He's bigger than all of us who hurt us. So what, what I think what really carries into our success is, one, we're Geneva families. Mm -hmm. It's a Geneva business. We're family-owned. But then again, the Aurelio history, it goes back to 1959 yeah. is when Joe Aurelio Sr. started making pizzas, very similar to how we did it across the street, in a small carryout and delivery. Family-oriented, neighborhood-oriented, and, uh, and we do a lot of things for the community. Oh, we, I know you do. We, we, we donate big to a lot of organizations. We're, we're very close with the schools, um, Lazarus House. So, I mean, those right, things, yeah. when you live in the community, you have to support the community. Well, it's fascinating because for years, people said, you know, we, we need a place to go, whether it be after the games, mm -hmm. just to hang out on a Friday night or a Saturday night, mm -hmm. someplace that's casual, good, consistent. You guys provide all that. Right. Well, there's a proven recipe, um, one for the good food. I mean, that's, right. that's a no-brainer. If you stick to the recipe, don't deviate, continue doing what you're taught by the, by the Aurelio family, okay. you'll be successful. Okay. Having a great location, like oh. the iconic 4th Street cor corner. That's amazing. Absolutely helps. And the other thing is, is that we hire Geneva people. Oh, I know. Ninety percent of the high school kids all work here. Okay. Amazing. And when they leave, some of the kids that work here are from the high school. Correct. Yeah, correct. As well so, as St. Charles. Sure. Oh, sure. Kids as yeah. well, but the, the lion's share are, are students from Geneva yeah. High School. That's neat. That's it's a great working environment. I mean, it is. But the outdoor patio, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're not really resting on a season per se because you've got it all. Yeah, when that when that uh, patio <laughs> opens up, we essentially have two restaurants. You do here. well, you know, in the village, the events that are hosted in the village sure. carry us into those other seasons. Good Christmas Good. walk is a great period of time. Yeah, for isn't us. that something? You know, the shopping that goes on throughout the entire holiday season in downtown Geneva really contributes to our success. Good, Good to hear. You know, the more and Kevin and I talk about it all the time. The more successful businesses, the more places Absolutely. that come into downtown, Absolutely. we're happy to have them. We don't look, mm -hmm. them, look at them as competition. Yeah. We look at them as bringing more foot traffic into the downtown, which helps us. Because success the begets success. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to be in a successful restaurant row, if you will. When we're on an hour wait, somebody doesn't want to stick around, they might go down two doors down to see sure. Mike. They may go across the street to the Noble House, they may go over to the Ale House. So everybody benefits from that. It does. And I know I, I don't want to give away what time of year this is, but this coming weekend you guys are going to be busy. Yeah. It's all hands on deck. It's all, it's yeah, all hands on deck. So five, six hour days? No. We basically move in. For the <laughs> do you really? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Well, that's good. And now how late do you serve? Nine o'clock uh, Sunday through Thursday. Okay. We close at 10 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. But the key is, if we're still rolling, 
we keep serving. Is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah. We don't turn people away. That's awesome. And we're sitting in the, the, the kind of the bar area, or standing in the bar area, and there's so much more to see. So would you take us all on a quick there's tour? There's a lot to see. That'd be wonderful. We'll follow you. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. We're going to follow Mr. LaRocca. Uh, this might be a neat place to stop. Okay. This is a great okay, place yeah. to stop. And when you come in, you're greeted by these pictures where most people would think, oh, that's cool. You support the, the local mm -hmm. teams. But there's a story behind these pictures. There sure is. And we have these pictures throughout the restaurant. but. Every one of these photographs represents one or two kids that have worked for us since uh, 2003 when we opened up. Wow. So it's kind of our wall of fame. And the Spellman company is very gracious that they'll provide us new photographs every year or so. We do, we do tend to change them out. But if you go around throughout the restaurant, you'll see photographs of soccer. It could be softball. Um, yeah. But every, every one of those pictures represents an employee at one time that worked here. Including the iconic Pat Scheller, Geneva resident. Just signed with the St. Louis Cardinals, very exciting. Yep. That's right, Pat was a uh, pizza maker and a delivery driver. That, uh, he that, moved up to a delivery driver because he wound up having, his hands are too big for sauce, you no know? No kidding, is he that right? He had more sauce on him than he did on the pizza. Same. And of course, Mr. Schiller's father, Mr. Schiller, yep. mm -hmm. plays here quite often. That's correct, so. in fact, he'll be playing here this Saturday evening on Excellent. the piano, the wow. Geneva Piano Man, out on the back patio. Yep. Wonderful, wonderful. This is cool, let's keep going. And I've got to ask, the, the red checkered cloth, this is, this, is, this is the image, this is the brand. That's correct. Well, okay. I was going to touch on that a little bit. Cool. Um, this particular pattern is only available for a really good pizza. Uh, oh, it, it is? looks like a standard checkered pattern. When I uh, see that, I think pizza. One of the many things that Mr. Aurelio secured throughout his lifetime was little things that made them just that much different, okay. that much more thought through. You're not going to see this pattern anywhere but in an Aurelio's pizza. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it kind of gives it that iconic feel. Because when you see it, the first thing I think is, oh, pizza, pizza place. place. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But that's, that's, that's indigenous to Arroyos. Absolutely. That's fantastic. You know, the construction that you see in here, the booths we custom made for our place. You know, we did this work ourselves. Mm -hmm. The walls, the paint, the Mr. layout. Mr. Silvestri that's participated. Correct. Now, exactly I've, right. I've got a weird question. The height of the booth, is that that's by design to provide the privacy? That's absolutely. correct. Okay. Nothing yeah. worse than sitting in a booth and somebody peeking over the backside saying, what are they eating? What do they have over there? So, you know, the neat thing is when this place is full of capacity and there's kids everywhere and you're sitting in that booth, you can still have a nice conversation. With that's true. Room. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. yeah. Is there a favorite booth? Booth number one. Booth number 27. <laughs> Center booth on that wall in the window. So I like a, number one. Do yeah. you? Okay. <laughs> Oh, we've got a, quite the argument going. I love yeah. that. Booth number one was, was that? That was famous. famous celebrity booth. Yes, it is. Famous so. celebrity booth. I love that. And the TVs are a, a nice little feature as well. That's correct. Yeah, did customers well. ask for those, or did you provide them just as, you know what, they might want those? You know, a little bit of both. Okay. You know, it, it, they're not overwhelming, so you they're don't not. feel like you're at a sports bar. You're exactly. Right. You know, your kids aren't glued to the TV or your right. husband or whatever. Right. And, but, you know, when we have big events on, or families want to go out, they still want to be able to check game score they sure. can, but you're not in an atmosphere that's purely focused on You're that. still conversing yeah. as you're supposed to do at a family Absolutely. restaurant. Absolutely. And this season we are broadcasting all of the unique football games live. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. I had our first one last uh, last week and I'll be broadcasting tomorrow's game here. So if it's raining, you got a good place to go. Yeah, you've got yeah. a beautiful private dining room that's in the correct. back. We, we, had, we do host... Uh, Lots of private parties That's wonderful. throughout the year. Uh, could be wedding showers, baby showers, rehearsal dinners are wow, obviously dinners. Are, Amazing. Are very big. Space and holds comfortably up to 50 people. Wow. Yeah. Can we go check that out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Follow us. Mm -hmm. now, this is spectacular. The doors alone right. are spectacular. Well, you know, it really gives you a feeling that you're still part of what right. the whole atmosphere is, but yet you can host your private events. Right but on a big weekend or a big night, these are open. Yeah. Those are open. Unless there's a private party. Unless that, there's a private party. That we've booked well in advance. And, and also we can shut this down to have one private room and open up this to the dining room where we okay. can have two separate parties going simultaneously. Isn't that cool? Well, that's a neat part about this entire restaurant is you feel like you're part of what's going on outside yeah. of downtown Geneva. Yeah. You know. It's a good point. Everybody likes to sit in the windows, those tables always fill up first. Okay. You know, just to watch the world go by? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, there's always so much foot traffic, there's always something going on. Right. So wow. really gives you a feeling like you're in downtown Geneva, you know. That's cool. And I know when there's private parties, you provide 
the staff to service those parties as well. Absolutely. You're not correct. just amongst, amongst the others, you're taken care of. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, um, about 99% of the parties I plan one-on-one -on -one okay, with, with them. them. I'll do their menu with them. Wow. Um, you know, design the room with them, let them know what the layout's Is that be. right? Yeah, I, I meet with 99% of the people that have parties here, I meet with one-on-one. -on -one well, that's cool. Party, so. That's cool. Now we can see through the windows here the patio. <clears throat> And patio's this is the, awesome. Patio's unbelievable, isn't Can't it? Can't tell you how many people sit out there and they think they're in Cancun. Oh, yeah. And you, know, you really don't hear much of the outside noise. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. It's sheltered. It's private. The atmosphere is awesome. We've it's got fantastic. We have music out there. We've got a large television yeah. and, an, and an outdoor bar as well. Ooh, so let's why go check we that out. Check this out. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It's a perfect day to do so. <clears throat> so when we took over this location, the patio we felt was underutilized. It was just yeah, a slab of concrete. It was. It was so much. Um, just some chairs and a couple, a couple of you know miscellaneous tables and chairs set up out here. So once again, Arnie Silvestri had the, the the foresight to say, hey, you know what? We should put a bar outside here. Yeah. And, uh, and I've got a way to do this. So we wound up having Arnie. Arnie built this bar, tied it into the building. Amazing. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Arnie's got a little Italian in him as well and <laughs> loves those those arches that we put in. He's a post. great designer, great builder. And um, it's just really a, a beautiful addition to the building and the patio. Do you notice that people, your frequent guests, they prefer outside? Absolutely. In the summertime? I'll wait for outside. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, so we can, on, on a week on a weeknight, we can be full outside, have available seating inside. People say, I'll wait. No kidding. And they'll come and they'll have a drink or soda or something and they'll wait for a table outside. Even That's though awesome. they can sit down inside. Now when I've been here before too, I noticed that the men and women coming out of the delivery door, it's busier than heck. It's a, it's good <laughs> it's, to be a delivery driver at Aurelio's Pizza. It's, it's, it's incredible. We are, we, are, we are picking up and we're delivering and we have sit down. So um, it, it's, a, it's definitely a very, very busy. It's full throttle. Full throttle. and. You know, we deliver to Geneva, St. Charles, Batavia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, don't go quite as far as Auburn, but we've we've had situations where people from Melbourne have said, "Hey, I'll meet you on the side of the road." Really? We we bring it out to La Fox Road, and we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. Wow. That, well, you know, that's back to the roots. You know, Kevin and my sister Tracy started with the carryout and delivery. Yeah. You know, that's what mm -hmm. built this business, mm -hmm. and we've certainly <laughs> seen it grow since we've moved over here and got better exposure. Um, but yeah, like Kevin said, it's it's darn good to be a delivery driver to really Pizza. Well, it's too bad that Tracy can't be with us today. She's on a delivery. Is she? <laughs> is she? Out to Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, out to Colorado. So this is a spectacular space. Thank you. It's a wonderful space. And I love the light, the little touches that you have on it. At nighttime it with, the, with, the, with the white lights out here. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, now light. we're going to check out the place that all the magic happens. Absolutely. The engine. The engine. This is the kitchen. We're not going to figure out the secret recipe or sauce. <laughs> We're going to check out where it all occurs. So let's head to the kitchen. And it's a nicely air conditioned kitchen. I was going to say, it's which, not a million degrees. Which when we were across the street, oh, we oh operated in about 110 degree I remember that. facility. I had certain people, we won't mention names over here, that, you know, didn't like the heat. No. So and my buddy, my, my uh, daughter's friend Ian used to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that. He was like hot. It was oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, a little bit of the success of, of this business is some of the people like this man right here who have been with us for. Since the day we opened. Day oh, no years. kidding? Yeah. How are you? I'm Kevin. You're on TV, man. Yeah. You're famous now. <laughs> this is the guy who makes all the great food and the pizza? Well, you this know what? Yeah. The... And that's right. Jesus started with us in February of 2003. Is that right? He stuck with us. And one of the things that makes us great is that the consistency of how our food's made. He was taught by the Aurelio family. Oh, wow. You know, when we have new employees come in here, he, tri he just carries that on. He only knows one way to make the product. So the apprenticeship is with you. That's right. Wow. So which one do you like better, Tyler or Kevin? Tracy. <laughs> Both. Both, yeah, yeah good Tracy answer. Likes, likes Tracy better. Yeah, well, yeah. smart man. Everybody likes Tracy. Everyone likes Tracy. Yeah. yeah. Smart man. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Yeah, this is a great space. Yeah. So on a Friday, Saturday night. Just to show you around. Yeah. This is a place to be cooking. We have, we have four ovens that on a Friday, Saturday night, we'll be cranking out full capacity, 500 degrees. 
on the pizzas. We were able to control a certain size of the pizza if we wanted it uh, to come out a little crisper and we can adjust okay. temperatures. But uh, I'm a thin crust guy, so you get, yeah. that's what we're known for. Right. Aurelio's is a thin crust pizzeria, yep. although we make stuff and we make double dough. Uh, thick crust pizzas, Aurelio's was put in the map with a thin crust pizza. So on a, on a, on a busy, busy night, how many, how many pizzas? pizzas do we make? Yeah. We make a lot. I can tell you right now, one <laughs> order tomorrow night is 100 pizzas going out the door. Really? I'm not going to say who they're going to, but we got, that's just one order. Okay. So um, tomorrow night being Friday night, we will be stepping well into the hundreds of pizzas. Wow. That'll come through here. It'll be very hectic. This whole this whole area will be filled Zoo. with employees going. And uh, it's and all like the it freshest way. ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Handmade. Handmade. And you know, that's a good point. Our sausage yeah. can only be found at Aurelio's because it's made oh, by right? the Aurelio family. So that's what separates us as well from all oh, the other cool. all the other pizzerias and purveyors out there is that Aurelio's have their own processing plant in the south side. They make the sausage, it's their recipe. I didn't it's, know that. It's Joe Aurelio's recipe back in 1959, and you only get it through them. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. It's, and it's, it sets us apart. So, wow, it sure does. As well as the cheese, two mozzarella cheeses that we blend together. It's an Aurelio's branded cheese that they've used for uh, 55 years. And um, again, it, now, does that look, bake up differently though? Sometimes it does. Okay. It, uh, there's been times where people think that we might add a little bit of cheddar cheese to it. Right. But there is no cheddar cheese. And I'm going on the record that there's no cheddar cheese. <laughs> it's 100% pure mozzarella. That's but, awesome. Um, but it's, it's the blend that makes it so unique each time. It's a blend, and then when you put it in with a pepperoni or our sausage, okay. you got a little paprika in there. It turns it a little bit oranger, and it gives ah. it that little bit of a color. So. Well, that's the secret. There you go. There it is, right there. I love it. So going back into this area, we typically have to pre-roll our crusts out. And there's a reason for that is because we like all of our crusts to have a nice skin on them where it's not, it's not sticky, doughy. It's not doughy. And that's part of the way we cook our pizzas is that they come out of the oven just perfect and crisp. So well, that's interesting. The other key is we do a lot of product out here on a Friday, Saturday night, and we have to roll all night long. So, this what, what, what's the what's the most popular size? Is it large? Is large it, pizza. Because the personal pizzas are awesome. Yeah, the individual little Joe's six yeah, inches. Little, those are great pizzas, great for kids. Right. Um, so quite a few of those at lunchtime. Yeah, I can imagine because it's not so heavy where you're going back and falling asleep. Right. But we also have a little uh, little six inch gluten free pizza, oh, cool. which seems to be a very popular. Uh, pizza these days with a lot yeah, of uh, the allergies coming out, so we're yeah. able to, to kind of satisfy both sides. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. And the most wow. popular pizza? Yeah. What do you think it is? Well, I'm gonna just based on my own taste buds, just pepperoni, cheese and sausage. Cheese Number and sausage really? pizza hey, because of the we have a ticket. because of the Aurelio sausage. Right. Aurelio sausage and Aurelio's cheese. Boom. Yeah. So. It's great. It's a great product. Um, our affiliation goes back a long time with the Aurelio's family. A lot right. of people don't know this, but my wife and Tyler grew up next door neighbors to the Aurelio family. Joe, I didn't know Joe that. Aurelio, yeah. the founder. And the Laracas and the Aurelio's, they go back 100 years, back to the old neighborhood in Roseland. Yep. And um, Tyler's father grew up with Joe Aurelio. Joe's father worked for the Laraca family. And it just. Grandma Aurelio worked for no like, kidding. my grandfather. Right. And it just wow. goes down the line for many, many years. And uh, it took it took Joe Aurelio Sr. probably five years of me pestering him that right? to let us open up a store. Right. He, he, he wasn't in it for the money. He wanted to make sure that the product and the operators were the right, right people, right fit for the organization. That's so, amazing. I didn't, I didn't realize your connection there. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. But, but Joe liked Tracy better than you, though. Yeah, I'll do. Everybody all do. likes Tracy. <laughs> that's the Everybody. consistency, folks. Yeah, yeah, that's the consistency. Yeah, that's cool. That's a great setup. Thank great you. setup. So we have any dough in here? Yeah. So there was a time, Brian, when they told us we couldn't do what we were doing, what we do with this size kitchen. It was too big, too small, too small. This yeah. is a submarine kitchen compared to really most pizzeria and Aurelio's kitchens. They've got another. 1,500 square feet or more built on. And uh, the Aurelio uh, team came in here and took a look at it. We, we just said, hey guys, we're going here. This is the location we're going with. 
and they wow. supported us. We wound up doing a lot of vertical. We went up on the walls oh, okay. and used wall space. And uh, to this day, they are very impressed with the amount of production we're able to do out of this location. So that's really cool. Yeah. But the, here's this is our dough. Okay, so we we made uh, this this morning. This was a 50-pound bag of flour made into a 35-40 uh, a gallon container. And we have, I think, another four of these around the corner. I was just going to ask you, will this so, last? Be oh, tonight. This, this will be tonight. Yeah, this won't be used for tonight. We'll bring that out. They'll Let ball it, it out. It's been rising all day, but they will cut this up into certain size balls, knowing what kind of inventory we're going to need for okay. the week. Okay. And this process goes on every day. We make dough seven days a week. What time do you come in to make the dough? Oh, probably nine, nine o'clock, oh, nine thirty-ish. Okay. Well, yeah. And you know pretty well how many crusts you have to make. We know. Yeah. You know. We know. We know we exactly. Know what each day is going to bring. We've got, you know, as we said, we're moving it into our fourth year. Yeah, so. So we've got a real good feel for the festivals, for the Christmas, for right. the Swedish days. We know what we're going to do. Okay. So within very little ways. Yeah. Sure. And unlike the old days where everything was done on a paper ticket, you threw your order in, we have computers. Well, and we computer were just interrupted by everything. Tyler grabbing a ticket. So someone placed an order. Right. Correct. And we can go in right now and look two years ago at what kind of uh, night we had on a Friday of Christmas yeah. walk. We can pull out and say we did 350 large pizzas, 75 extra larges. We That's have all awesome. that inventory. Yeah. We know what, what the temperature was that day, the weather was like. I and actually did that this morning for tomorrow. Anticipating this big weekend what, coming up. What right. times during the day, really? how much did we do, and that tells me how much staff I need, okay. how much dough I need, okay. you know, what did I do for lunch, and at what times of the day. Well, because it's a festival, it started a little later, so we can bring in some people a little later. Wow. They go a little later. The computer system, like Kevin said, has changed things from the old days. Oh, indeed, yeah. So there's art and science. Absolutely. You're the science, you're the art? Yeah, I, I would say I'm the artist. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Where to next, gentlemen? Well, I think we want to see you make a piece. I think Me? That, I think that Absolutely. would be... You want to check this out, folks? This will be one that will never be sold. First thing It'll, we do. It will be eaten, though. Oh, yes, of course. Jack it off, wash your hands. Would you well, like I better apron? leave that on because I got the mic. All right. Would you like an apron, Kevin? No, this suit is rented. Pop okay. all your soap, sing happy birthday two times to yourself. Happy That's birthday. I just had a birthday, too. This is like uh, performing some sort of uh, major God knows it's what. It's like you're going in for surgery. It does. This is good fresh Geneva water, folks, from the deep wells and the shallow wells. We blended in our own facility. Yeah. Oh, look, I broke the whole system. Awesome. So this is our thin crust medium shell right here. OK. Made earlier to provide that rolled appropriate out earlier, correct. crust. Rolled out. That nice little little film that we like to, to say on there. It's proofed up, as we say. And you hit it with a fork? We put, but that's called a dough knocker. Oh, what we like to do out. is, um, we like to run those through just in case there's any air bubbles trapped. Oh, is that what it is? All right, so we're going to, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make a, a, a standard Simple. traditional cheese pizza. Oh, I like Because it. we don't want to put your hands in the meat. I understand. Okay, you don't want to do that, Thank right? you for saying that with a straight face. Yeah, you get it all over you. <laughs> so that's a medium pizza. What I would do is I would pick it up like so. That's how I like to do it. Take your sauce, put it up on the top. Are you left-handed? I am. Okay, so. Yeah, I, do it, do it, I do it the other way. Do you do it the other way? I'm gonna do it the Tyler way. So, how many I scoops? I would say put three scoops on there, right three? up on the top. One. Oh, I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. Two. Perfect. And then use the spoon to. Yeah, that's correct. Now, some people like a lot of sauce, some people don't. Do you make it to preference? A typical Aurelio's pizza comes with just the right amount of sauce. That's a God, that's a good answer. Yeah. Spot on. If somebody wanted light sauce, we're going to give them light sauce. Okay, okay? so you, you'll... If they want extra sauce, they're going to note that with the server, and we'll have that come out on the ticket. Okay. You know, that's a pretty darn good job. Well, you know, it kind of reminds me of my... I actually repeated the first grade several times. <laughs> this is, okay. The question I had, though, what are you doing this weekend? Because we might be shorthanded. <laughs> I'm available. Absolutely. Okay. So let's come on over here 
And this uh, is the famous cheese. This is our make table where typically this whole station would be opened up and we'll have all the ingredients duplicated. Well, you've got the master next to me. I'm intimidated. He is the master too. So I would start putting your cheese on there. What's your advice? Just a handful? And then and spread it around. Okay. See, the Irish don't do this real well, do they? Keep going. Oh, more? Oh, yeah. I don't want to, you know, get... Well, our theme is quality, quantity, and value. So, you know what? If that pizza was delivered QQV. to my house, You'd... I'd be calling up and saying, who made that pizza? Okay. It's not enough cheese. QQV. Yeah. Give it a couple more scoops on there. Good Lord, really? Yeah. Get around these edges, and we'll show you Do you guys you have a, a deal trick. with the American Heart Association, or do you... Get it all the way yeah, up we... to the edge, sir. I, I, I right. feel bad. I'm, like, wasting it. And take your pan, give it a couple well, shakes. that's how you do it. A little bit more on the edges. And grab your oregano shaker. Right here. Right there. All right, Kev, I got it. Just a little more there. And there there the you go. Perfection. Shake it up. There you go. Just all over. Give it all over it. Perfect. Enough. Pick it up, throw it on the oven. I'll do the right handed and thing. And in 10 minutes, you're going to have an unbelievable. Just lay it on here? Lay it on there. This is like Lucy in the Chocolate <laughs> Factory. Okay? <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's right. I, I'm playing the role set. of Lucy or, or Ethel? I think you're Ethel. You look like a little bit of Fred, too. <laughs> Fred, thank you. I, I've always found him attractive. You don't Ten have minutes to, worry to go so through much. that, that's it? What happens on the other end is the pizza cook is looking at every pizza. If he feels Ice. that it needs a little more timing, he'll take it, push it back into one of the other ovens, and bring it out to the to the right consistency and temperature and, and look. So how many pounds of cheese do you go through in a busy night? I mean, my God. If it's even we measurable. Get, we get... Uh, Two deliveries a week of cheese. Okay. I can tell you it's... Is it pre-grated or do you oh grade it? No, we grade all of our cheese. You do? You all we grade here. our cheese. And it's in the thousand pounds of cheese easily. We probably wow. do 600 pounds of Italian sausage bulk a week. So we... Really? Yeah. yeah. We said everything's fresh here. And uh, our produce comes... We get some produce... Three, I do three times a week, four on a weekend like this. Right. <laughs> And when you say fresh, we know it's fresh here. And if it's no longer fresh, you don't use it. Oh, no. Yes, because that's, that's the key to the quality. The, the key to the quality. And also, again, just stepping back, that we know what we do here. Right. Come, come Sunday, we're just about tapped out. We're getting our, our deliveries back early on Monday, Tuesday. Okay. We're refreshing and re-going again. That's amazing. So, so good stuff. my old days, I was using a microwave. That's not a good idea here? No. Not for pizza. Not for pizza. <laughs> no. Shucks. <laughs> well, you've got a website. We have a website. You've got a telephone number. You've got the address. Share with everybody. Sure. 330 West State Street is our address. We're on the corner of 4th and State Street. Our telephone number is 630-262-8440. And the website is www.aureliospizza.com. I love it. And that's your website. That, well, that's the entire organization's website. We'll you just can click, click on, on down to the Geneva store. Awesome. And uh, you'll get routed to our our, our particulars. That's the menus are on there. Our catering yeah, menu yeah. is on there. We do a lot of catering. Because it's more than just pizza. That's what's so cool. We're available to do catering any day of the week, any time of the week. Like Kevin said, we've got a client that is getting 100 pizzas this weekend. Um, that's amazing. We've had accounts yeah. up to feeding up to 350 people lunch. We're open every day at 11 a.m. Yeah. Lunch specials, uh, Monday through Friday. Wow. Uh, and like you said earlier, we close at 9 during the week and 10 on the weekends. But uh, you know, if you've got something special going on, give me a call and we'll work around what you need. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So the quality, the quantity, and the value. And the value. You guys your, represent your it all. Your pizza wouldn't have hit the quality until about three more scoops. <laughs> Is that right? But you're good now. Somebody would call that who's the Irish guy who made this? Who do you got? Who's the new guy? Who's the new guy? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is wonderful. Thank you both very, very Thank much. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. Congratulations. Let's Continue your hand, success. I got sauce on here. Thank you. Thanks, Thank man. you very much. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Aurelio's Pizza. Be here. Enjoy. These guys know what they're doing. It's awesome.